Hello, hello. I'm Chris with the Legacy team, and we are back again making another component for the bar stool. Now this is technically our prototype, but this is not the bar stool that we are, we are producing. This is a piano stool that the design is, is being founded from. Uh, we're gonna be using the same type of wooden threads with two threaded nuts, but we've uh, transformed this into a four-legged bar stool instead of a three-legged one. Today's video, we're gonna focus specifically on the seat, and this is a double-sided component, so let's go see how that's done. This seat is produced on the horizontal workstation, and we'll be using the same fixture and zero point as the rest of the parts for this project. The horizontal workstation comes standard on all Maverick CNC systems and can be fully customized to accommodate any table fixture. For other videos where we show the bar stool leg and threaded nuts, we use the same T-slot table with Legacy's Low Pro clamps. The first process of this double-sided seat is simply to surface plane the material. This blink was too large to fit in my joiner or planer, so we're able to use the CNC when traditional methods can't work. We used a surfacing cutter to simply clear off the material, and afterwards we used a two-flute straight cutter to pocket out the mortise for the round tenon of the threaded shaft. Using the same fixture with the same zero point, we can easily rotate and flip the part to the second side and repeat the process. Now when we repeat the surfacing process, we're actually thickness planing the entire material to a finished thickness of 1.75 inches. This seat variation will turn out to be a square shape. And to cup out the seat, we're actually going to 3D carve a cup shape running in both directions. This will leave the corners proud while the edges and center of the seat are dished in. The depth of this dish is 3 8 of an inch. We wanted to soften the edges of the seat with a large three quarter inch radius, but instead of carving the shapes with a smaller ball nose cutter to get down into those crevices, we decided to actually use a radius cutter. This radius tool goes along the perimeter creating that three quarter inch radius, but we can see that along the edges, it's not deep enough to follow the cup of the dish. So additional tool paths were made so that this radius cutter followed the dish with a swarf cut. Not only does it leave a finer finish along that radius, but the cutting time is much faster than raster carving. To finish the seat, we're going to go back to our two flute straight cutter and finish cutting out the shape. This will leave two tabs to hold the part in place so it doesn't accidentally slip during the final cutout process. These tabs can easily be removed with a chisel, trim router, or router table. And now with the seat complete, let's see how it joins to the threaded shaft. Now 
And there we have it. A uh, shaped seat for the bar stool and the corners are all higher than the, the centers. Um, and this is cupped in two different directions. So it gives us a nice and comfortable seat to sit on. Unfortunately, uh, I placed the wrong side of the blank in first. And so we cut too deep to where we exposed the biscuit joints when we glued this blank together. So I'm gonna have to go make another blank and go repeat this process for the actual finished stool. Uh, but the machine makes it really simple to do that. Now, if you're interested in learning more about what a legacy CNC can do for you, I recommend you visit our website at LegacyWoodworking.com. If you have any questions, you can, only, you can always leave them down below in the comment section, or you can always call and talk to one of our CNC experts at 801-491-0010. Now, if you're interested in seeing more cutting demonstrations like this, just click right over there. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check that notification box so that you can be notified when new videos like this come out. And as always, thank you for watching. And remember, Legacy solves more woodworking problems than any other CNC manufacturer in the industry.